So <laughs> let's stand up at the edge of our mat. Step to the short edge of your mat on the right side. So before your right hand, short end of your mat. Yeah. <clears throat> so today's <clears throat> word, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna get a little sip of water. I got some. So today's word is sacred. <laughs> I've been writing them on my hand lately because I'm in this program where I'm getting these lovely intentions for the day to kind of wrap around my own intention. So for today, our wrapper intention, sacred. So if your normal intention is love, peace, flexibility, whatever it is, just wrap it today in, in sacred. And so for a moment, as you feel into your feet, bend your knees a little and rock back and forth into your feet and feel this sort of wave moving just through the feet for a moment from the toes back to the heels let your arms kind of sway with it a little bit just like you were in a rocking chair but creating it for yourself out of your feet let the hips move forward and back and the knees come along just a little and really feel into that foundation beneath you and then as you felt into that a little bit but just begin to bounce just it's not really like a hard bounce but just an up and down motion a little goofy, I get it, but I really want you to feel into your foundation, your rooting, your grounding. Lift your toes up, if you will, and spread them wide. Root down into the feet and pull them apart just slightly. And then soften everything. Begin to stand tall. We know in our moon salutations, we're gonna get really deep into our legs and our foundation. So let's begin by waking them up a little bit here. And then as you root into your feet, lengthen up through the crown of your head, close your eyes for a moment. Just feel into this whole beautiful, amazing, sacred vessel that you get to inhabit in this life. From the feet to the ankles, stacking the knees right over the ankles, the hips right over the knees, shoulders right over the hips. And then you might feel your chin drawing back slightly to lengthen up through the crown of the head. Notice perhaps your core engaged a little bit as you started to align everything. And then flower your hands open, facing forward in mountain pose. And just pause here. Rooted and lengthened. And inside of this sacred, we're moving through our moon salutations today, some sun salutations as well, most likely. And first we have to be open to this idea that sacred is a thing. Sometimes it can be a word that has some connotations that attach to church or maybe some bad juju with a religion or something. But at the end of the day, sacred is what is one way to connect to source, to connect to God, to connect to all that is. So as you stand here in this moment, begin to tune into the breath that is your lifeline, flowing in and out. Notice your hands lifting slightly away from the body. As you inhale, see them falling back in toward the body as you exhale. So take these deep breaths that expand you in all directions, opening up some space. So as we open into these moon salutations, as we open into this sacred, as we open into this moment, just be with the breath be with this moment and notice, notice inside of this ebb and flow of time, it's also sacred. So we mark time with this moon salutation inside of our yoga practice. And like Rumi says, moonlight floods the whole sky. And if you saw it the other day, that was true. Moonlight floods the whole sky from horizon to horizon. How much it can fill your room depends on its windows. So in this moment, begin to open through the crown of the head. Just imagine a window opening there. Wide to receive this moonlight, to receive this sacredness, and then open the space of your third eye, just like a window opening. Open the space of your throat. Maybe take a deep breath in there and hum as you exhale. Mm. 
Probably not, because that's too weird for Midwesterners. Let's try it again. Inhale. Mm, we might have to add an ohm if I can't hear you. One more time. Inhale. Mm, and then open that space of the heart, just as if there was a window there. Just imagine this openness for this moonlight to flood in, for this sacredness to flood in and out, right? Because it's already there. And then at your solar plexus, imagine a window opening. The space at your belly, your low belly, just below your navel. And then at your tailbone. And as you draw your next breath, see this light flowing in, filling your whole body. And as you exhale, see it flowing out through all these windows, out through the fingertips, out through the toes, illuminating your whole person. Sacred, this whole day, this whole moment, this whole body, sacred. Be open, open, open to this practice today as you allow it to transform you and as you allow it to be new. cling to our practice just be in today be in this moment be open to what is next exhalation allow your chin to fall towards your chest ease your eyes open and then inhale the arms and gaze skyward exhale left hand takes hold of right wrist and we'll take a side bend towards your mat so we're at the long at the short edge of the mat on the right we're going to look down through the left arm bicep and then inhale, turn maybe to look up if your neck's okay with that. And see if that doesn't help you to encourage your right shoulder to draw back slightly. <sighs> so good. Inhale, rise. And our right hand's gonna take our left wrist and we'll side bend as if we're gonna dive off the mat. Look down through your right bicep, lengthen through the crown, look down through the feet, and then maybe look up through the left arm, drawing the circle of the arms back. <sighs> Inhale and step out, goddess pose. And as we arrive here, let's rock into the feet, feeling from the heels to the toes, open across the biceps, all the way, stacking from the shoulders to the elbows. See if we can't get up, yeah, nice job, good, good form. Draw the arms back in line with the body and then root down into the feet. Set up your feet and your legs so that your toe, your knees are pointing toward the middle of your feet if possible, or at least you can see your big toe on the inside. That can be super challenging. Now inhale, let's rise. Inhale, open, open, open all those windows and exhale, sink down, root down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink. Last one, inhale, rise. Draw in the breath fully and exhale, root it down. Rock a little bit more. Maybe your legs can allow a little bit more space now. Maybe not, that's okay. Maybe it's time to back off. Listen to the body. It doesn't lie. Sit down, 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 find your edge. Left forearm to left thigh, right arm reaches up and over. Attempt to make this left forearm not a dumping ground, but just a guide. So just lightly touch there, reaching the right arm up and over. Gaze down at that leg, root down into the feet. Find your edge here. And then inhale, look up the right arm. Draw that right arm back, maybe. Can you stay where we did with that side bend? Sit down that right sit bone more toward the earth because it wants to lift a little here. Breathe down into the belly. One more breath. Sigh it out. Inhale, rise back to the center. See if you can hold here. Inhale, begin to wrap your way up, slow motion. Arms out, five-pointed star. Draw one hand to your heart, other hand over the first. Stand tall, root down into the feet. Root into the long edges of the feet for a moment. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Inhale the arms down to go up in a big circle. And from here, let's take the left hand to the right wrist and step our right hand, right foot over to our left hand. Left foot, those are feet. And then reach as if you're gonna dive off the mat, looking out toward that left bicep. And then inhale, turn the gaze to look up. Maybe 
seeing that you have more space in that shoulder to draw it back, no forcing, just noticing what's here. Inhale, rise up, float hands to heart. And once more, wrap your intention in that, that word of the day, sacred. And maybe just set the intention that everything today is gonna to be sacred. Everything today, you're gonna to see with new eyes. Everything, every sensation, every food, every person, sacred. Every part of you for sure, sacred. On your next inhale, sit the arms down to go up. Right hand to left wrist and dive in toward the mat. Look down toward that right bicep one more time. And then inhale, look up toward the left bicep. Drawing that left shoulder back. Inhale, lift up both arms. And we're gonna take a swan dive. Hold and soften the knees as much as you need to. Release the crown of the head toward the earth. And just hang. Soften again in the knees, listening to the whole body, to the low back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more time, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Tuck your pinkies into your elbow creases. And as you are ready, Sweep the fingertips along the ground, find your chair pose. And bring your feet so that they are hips width distance apart if they're not already. And rock your hips a little side to side. Let's bring our hands to our thighs for a moment and get into that moment of depth in the sacrum and the hips. So exhale, belly button way toward the spine, tuck it in really nice and tight. Shoulders sink away from the jaw. And from here, so you're still breathing, you're just tucking the belly button in. And then we're gonna shift our hips over to the right. Center, make sure you're breathing. Even though we're holding that shape, breathe into the chest for a moment. And then shift the hips over to the left. And center. And then just allow them to shift back and forth. Tucked. And if you need to soften the belly for a moment, take a deep breath, that's perfect. Listen to the body. On your exhalation, straighten the legs, release the hands toward the earth, soften. Let go of something here as you fold in. Sweet fingertips along the ground, rising up into chair pose. Now from here, bring the hands to the heart. Shift your weight into your left foot. Lift your right foot. If you need to grab a table or a wall, do so. You can swing your right foot up onto your left knee. So figure four, just pause here. If you wanna bring your hands one to the knee, one to the foot, and soften the shoulders back a little bit, do so. Playing with our balance right here at the beginning, sit down deep. Is this a hot yoga class? I feel like it's really warm in here, or am I had a hot flash? Okay, awesome. I, I can blame it on me a lot lately. A lot of hot flashes. Cook some eggs on this sidewalk. Sit down nice and deep. Find your edge, 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 find it, find it, find it, find it, and then rise up. Release that leg and set it down gracefully. Maybe, maybe not, maybe slap it to the floor. Rock your weight side to side, and we'll reach our arms up for each high. Exhale, fold it. Oh, so good. What's not to love about a forward fold? If it's hurting you in any way, soften your knees. It's not your favorite, soften your knees, and think about pointing your sits bones up toward the ceiling at the same time. Let go all the way to the head. How many times have I said that in my life? If I had a penny for every time I've said that. It's hard sometimes to let go of the weight of your head. You have so much going on up there. <sighs> Next exhalation, fingertips tap the ground one more time in the chair. And sometimes chair can be challenging. Think about, let's bring our hands to our hips. Think about how the hips have this whole rotation. They go in all directions, right? So think about tipping just slightly. It's not this big tuck, just a little tip. So you point your tailbone to the ground rather than out. That can take a ton of pressure off your low back and then firm your core and then reach the arms up. Exhale, root into your right foot. Bring the left foot up onto the right knee. You can bring your hands to your heart or hands to foot and, and knee if you like. You can fall out if you need to. 
just gently come back. If you ever fall out of a pose in yoga, take a deep breath first and ease your way back in. Try to stay outside of that frustration of falling. Simply be with it. One more breath here. Find your edge. Oh, so good. And then rise, stand tall. From here, reach the arms down to go up. Exhaling, let's take our right hand and left wrist as if we're gonna dive into the pool of our mat, like, like an Esther Williams kind of dive, right? Running down to the feet. Inhale, rise. Opposite side, we're gonna dive off. Now, can you draw that right shoulder back without looking up at it? Still looking down, maybe. And then look up and see if there's still more. Oh, there might be. And then on your inhalation, we're gonna rise and step out back into goddess toes. Yeah, sinking down. Let's rise up into five queen star. We're gonna bring our right hand to our left foot. So begin to rotate up, up at the top or top body first, bringing the right hand forward, left hand back, and then begin to sink the right hand to the left foot, tuck the left hand around to the right hip crease, binding. You can look down or up, whatever feels better. See how much you can release here. If you need to soften that left knee, feel free to do so. Always freedom is what we're looking for in yoga. Even in a bind. And then on your next exhalation, you're gonna sweep both hands to the ground. This wide angle forward fold. Let your, uh, what are those, heels. Let your heels scooch out a little bit if they need to. And just pause here for a moment. Feeling into what that twist did in the back. If you feel any sensation there, feel into what's happening in the hamstrings. Just Pay attention to what's going on in the body. Every little sensation is sacred. Every one a message. Release more. See if you can. See if there's more to do here. <sighs> One more breath. Fingertips come to the ground, lift halfway. And stretch forward through the crown of the head. So maybe even walk your hands a little bit farther forward to root, even so your arch of your foot hopefully isn't touching the ground, but like root down through the center of your foot so that you're not leaning back into your heels. That's a really great way to get a great stretch in the, in the hamstrings. But right now we wanna center over the middle of our foot. So lengthen forward through the crown. And then on your exhalation, let your toes turn out, the heels turn in, begin to rock, walk hands up the thighs, squeeze the scapulas together, elbows pointing toward the ceiling, and then begin to come up into goddess. Rising up. And then on your inhalation, rise up, five point star. Exhalation, six. One more time, inhale, rise. And exhale, sink. Rock back and forth a little bit, find your edge here right forearm to right thigh. Again, let it just be sort of a con point of contact and shoot that left arm up and over. And hopefully we've been training it well to draw back. You can look down at first and root into that foot, make sure you're grounded and then maybe turn to look up. See if you have some more space in that shoulder to draw back and open across the heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, belly button towards spine. See how that feels in this pose. Sink that left sits bone. It always wants to come along. <sighs> Sit down deep. <sighs> Inhaling, rise up into center. See if you can hold that for a breath or two. See if you can find the deeper edge. Is it there? Maybe not. Inhale, rise up. And let your heels drop out a little bit more in your wide stance. And then lengthen, turn your left arm forward, right arm back. And then begin to dive that left hand toward the left leg. It can be the knee, the thigh, the hip, anywhere. 
anywhere toward the floor is perfect. And then the right arm goes up into the sky. You can stay straight up or tuck into the left hip crease. Roll that right shoulder open. See if wherever you're holding on with that left hand, if you can bend the left elbow a little bit. Deepening. Inhale, unwind the right arm, reach the hands down to the floor. Let the heel drop out a little farther if they need to and release again through the crown of the head. Play around with releasing and releasing and releasing so that you notice probably that this is a deeper forward fold than the last one. Just notice. Press into your hands wherever they are, even if they're attached to legs. If they're, if they're still up on your legs, push the legs forward with the hands. If they're on the floor, push the floor forward with the hands. Release the crown of the head toward the earth. And once more, center your weight over the middle of the feet. Broaden the shoulders, smooth out the breath. One more breath here. <sighs> breathing in, maybe breathing in the word sacred, wrapped around your intention. <sighs> Hands walk forward and we rise halfway. Lengthen again through the crown, heel and toe your feet in a little closer. And then bend the knees. Once more, hands come to thighs. Squeeze the scapulas together. Let the heart drop toward the earth as the head stays in line with the spine. And then inhale, come up. Rock the heels and toes. Rise, rise. Got us. Sit down deep. Find it. Where is it? Inhale, rise up. From here, let's bring our hands to the top, right hand to left hand. We're going to square off our heels and step our left hand over toward our right, right into that side breath. Look down at the right bicep. See, about, think about peeling back that left shoulder a little bit, spiraling your heart toward the ceiling slightly, and then maybe look up and see if there's more. Maybe not. Maybe we're getting it. Inhale, rise, and float your sweet hands to your heart to remember your intention body, our intention, and allow that sacredness to sink in. From here, let's step out wide, five-point star. Reach out through the fingertips, sparkle out through the fingertips, turn your right toes toward the short edge of the mat, let your left heel drop away, sink into the warrior two. Now, we're super grounded in our feet now, and our legs are pretty stretched, so see if you can sink really low into your warrior two, find your edge. Throw your shoulders back, soften your shoulders a little bit, down the back. Yeah, just like that. So the arms are being held up, but we don't have to put a bunch of tension in our shoulders. Good job. And so check in with the front toe, make sure you can still see on the inside of the knee. And then from here, let's float that left hand back, right hand up, exalted warrior. What are we exalting today? The sacred, the sacredness inherent in everything. Let's find our right leg straightening and wind our arms all the way around into triangle. Easy does, no forcing. It's not important to get your hand to the floor. It's most important to keep this alignment in the upper body. So you're, yes, gosh, you guys are good. Keep your torso in line with the thigh. So if you need to back out a little bit to pull that shoulder right over the thigh, then sink a little lower. Look down to the feet. Think about scooping your right six one under slightly. And then look at your pinky toe side of the right foot. Let's float right up in half moon. Step off from the back foot, lift the back leg, floating up. You bring that left hand to the hip as you rise if you like. 
Adjust the, the hand that's on the floor, decide what it needs. And then once we're thinking about how the hip rotates inside the socket, it goes all kinds of ways. And our knee does it so much, right? It just goes back and forth. So for a moment, maybe decide if it's possible in this moment to bend the left knee forward, slow motion, reach the left hand back for the ankle, and then draw back. So the rotation happens in the hip. Open, open, open into Chapasana. Push the foot into the hand, the hand into the foot. Maybe not. If you're not there, that's cool. Just an option. Always just an option. And then exhaling, release back into half moon. Look down into triangle legs. Left hand up once more. Reach down into the feet. Look up at the top hand if possible. Just notice what that's like. It's not your normal. Just see what that feels like. Check in with your neck. And then float the left hand down. Step the left foot in for pyramid. Pour out. <sighs> well, can we have three hours for this class? I have a lot, a lot, lot longer way to go. <laughs> Uh, so releasing the crown of your head, soften your right knee, and then straighten more. It doesn't have to go all the way straight. Soften, shifting forward slightly, and then straighten. And then notice as you soften and shift forward, if your back heel comes off the ground, shift it forward a little more than usual. Step it up so that it stays on the ground even as you bend the knee. Release into straight and bend. Keeping that back heel on the ground, straight and bend. Draw your right hip crease slightly back. A couple more times, just gently rocking through this pyramid pose. Allowing the head to hang, the neck to stretch. And then we're gonna walk, we're gonna straighten the front knee or leg again and walk the hands over to the right. So on the outside of the foot, outside of the mat, just for a moment, just a twist. Walk that left hand a little farther forward. Stretching the left side body. Release the head again. And then walk the hands over in the opposite direction. So it's just we're gonna walk them back around to the long edge of the mat. Release the crown of the head toward the earth. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. And then bend your right knee coming back over to that same side in the side lunge or popping up into a Russian dancer, Skandasana, just playing with lifting one hand or both. See where your balance is today. And as you're ready, gently flip the hands back to the ground and then walk yourself into center once more. <sighs> Folding in. Hands plant, gently push the floor forward again. You can just wag your head a little side to side. Maybe take a nod or two. Bend one knee and then the other a couple of times. And then inhale, hands to the ground, lift halfway. Can you right here in this mid place, breathe into all those open windows? Can you let that moonlight shine in on the sacred that is you? Flooding inside and flowing out from your center of your center as well. This is already there, the sacred. And then on your exhalation, fold in when you're ready. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk the hands over to the left. Staying in the side lunge or skandasana for choice. 
sure which is actually harder. I think the balance is hard, but sometimes I think the stretch is deeper in the fold. I don't know. Kind of love the calf smash though that happens here. Kind of fun. All kinds of different sensations in both choices, right? Along the way. And two more breaths here. As you're ready, hands come down and we'll float both feet back to the ground, come back into center. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Soften something. <laughs> Draw your knees in, or your elbows, where are those? What's our heels, for heaven's sakes? Draw your heels in a little bit more. <laughs> and rock from toes to heels a couple of times. Walk hands up to the thighs. Squeeze the scapulas together as heart pours toward the earth. Head in line with spine. And you can rock a little bit here if you like. And then we're going to float up into your goddess. That looks juicy, Ellen. Let's all do that round. Grab your hands around behind the back. Clasp, root down deep in your goddess pose, goddess legs. So think about the bowling ball being really heavy. Let it pull you low. Find the edge. And then inhale, we'll rise all the way up. Clasping the hands, maybe or holding the elbows. Lift the heart. You too, Jim. Lift, lift, lift. And then fold, fold, fold. Stretching it out, releasing all that tension between the shoulders, wringing it out. Any tension in the neck. Being careful to let go of the weight of the head. Smooth breath flowing in. Smooth breath flowing out. One more breath. <sighs> Take a big sigh on your next one. <sighs> now, gently release your hands and try to keep them in the sky. Then sweep your right hand to the ground. Look toward the left, root your right hand, and then walk the right hand over to the left foot once more. Left hand wraps around to the right hip crease. Bend your right elbow a little bit, releasing the head right in the circle you're making between your leg and your arm. Keep the spine long, inviting, flowing, healing, smoothing, soothing breath into the body. Next exhalation, unwind that left arm, come back to center, and plant the left hand on the ground under your face, lift up halfway, reach the right arm up to the sky, and then walk the left hand over to the right leg sunk, to the hip crease, anywhere down toward the foot, right hand reaches into the left hip, hip crease, right shoulder rolls open into the bind, and keep your head going to that circle on the right. Still encouraging the right shoulder open. Feel that nice openness in the left scapula as you try to bend that left elbow slightly. Exhale, release, back into center. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let your heels drop in a little closer. Toes rock out. We're going to find goddess legs once more. Hands come to knees. Squeeze the scapulas together. Sink the sits bones. Lift up into goddess. Bring your arms along. Nice. Good job. Check in with your knees where they're pointing. Good job. Find your edge. Find your edge. And then inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes for a moment. And remember that stance that we had at the beginning where we rooted into our feet. Just bring the knees into alignment with the ankle, the hips into alignment with the knees, even though everything's at an angle. Lengthen through the crown of the head. It's challenging. You're not going to fall over for sure. Shoulders roll back, so be careful with you. Head right in center. See if your core turns on when you even think through this simple standing pose in order to keep you where you belong. Inhale, open. 
And eyes too if they're closed. <laughs> Left toes turn out, find your warrior two. <sighs> Set it up, check in your feet. Check in with your knees, make sure your knee's not going past your ankle. You wanna walk your back foot back, that's better than bring the knee in front of the ankle. Mike, check in with that front knee. Your front knee's going in front of your ankle a little bit. You can step your back foot out if you want a little bit more depth. Yeah, 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 yeah. So keep the knee in alignment with the ankle. So from here, we're gonna reach out in both directions, sinking down. Take one deep breath in, and then as you exhale, draw your belly button towards your spine. Just see what that feels like in Warrior Two. And soften. It's not ever about really being rigid in the core. It's about making sure you can feel it. Right hand sinks to right thigh. Left hand, exalted warrior. So if it feels okay to look up, do so. If you need more ground and look down at that back foot. Maybe think about where your right hand is on your right leg and walk it down maybe a millimeter. A little farther. Exhaling, begin to straighten the front leg. And easy does it, wind the arms into triangle, remembering that we wanna keep the torso in alignment with the bottom leg, both legs, right? So we wanna roll the right hip back slightly and the left thigh bone under a little so that we can keep this alignment of right shoulder on top of left shoulder on top of left thigh. So if you peek down at your left shoulder, the left thigh disappears. It's not hanging out over there on the left, it just disappears. So again, it's not about getting the hand on the floor. And some people like the hand on the outside of the leg. So people play with that today, see what that feels like. Put the left hand on the outside of the leg, even if it's still up high touching the leg instead of the floor. <clears throat> and then if you do, push the floor forward slightly with the hand and see if you can't gently shift the left hip crease back a little bit more. There's so much more always in these poses that we think we know. Just play. Let it be an exploration. Let it be a curiosity. And most of all today, let it be sacred. And then on your next exhalation, you know where we're going. Look at that pinky toe. Apply a spot 10 inches forward of the pinky toe and two inches toward the long edge of the mat. Begin to drop the right hand to the right hip if you like and step the left or right foot forward. Float the left hand to that spot on the ground. Lift the right leg and unfurl the right arm. See if you're dumping any tension to the back of the neck. So lengthen through the crown of the head even here. Find your foundation. You need to move that left hand a little bit, do so. Root into the left foot. Sometimes it can help to lift the left toes and spread them out and set them back down. Half moon. And then maybe begin to bend the right knee, drawing it forward, bringing the right hand to the right ankle and then drawing the right leg back. Push the foot into the hand, the hand into the foot. Open the right shoulder. Open across the chest, open across the belly. Open all those doors right here. Unwind, half moon. And on your exhalation, sink back to triangle, if possible. <laughs> And then sweep the right hand down, step the back foot in, finding our pyramid pose. Root into the right foot, stepping it in far enough so that once you've arrived here, you release the crown of the head and shift the left hip back slightly. And begin to play with bending the left knee, rooting into the feet. 
straightening the left leg. A little more, doesn't have to be all the way straight. Breathing, bending, breathing, straight. So yoking that movement to breath and always checking in with that back heel. If the heel's coming off the ground, just stepping in a little bit more so you can keep a rooted feeling there. And come to stillness, pouring out over this leg. Root into the hands wherever they are and either push the uh, back of the leg towards your face or the floor forward. So apply a little extra tension just for a moment. See if it can't help to lengthen your spine by doing that. Inhaling, root the hands down. Lift up the left leg, step it back, and walk your right foot back along with it to plank pose. Surprise! Plank pose. Lengthen from the heels to the crown. Now, take a deep breath in. Draw the belly button toward the spine. Roll the heels to the left, right hand to the sky. Sweep the right hand to the ground. Roll the heels to the right, left hand to the sky. Sweep the left hand to the ground. Shift forward on the toes, lower halfway. Inhaling upward dog. Exhaling downward dog. Woohoo! Now inhale, lift the heels, shift all the way forward to plank. And make sure you're in your proper alignment. And head is in line with spine. Exhale, belly button towards spine, rise back into down dog. Inhale, lift the heels, let a ripple move through the whole body as you shift into plank pose. Exhale, belly button towards spine, lifting the heels, sinking them down again into the down dog. Inhaling when you're ready, heels rise and a ripple moves through the whole back body as you come into plank pose. And then as you begin to exhale, belly draws towards spine and it sinks back into down dog. One more time, we inhale, the legs lift, the hips lift, and the ripple moves through the body. Plank, last time, exhale into down dog. Pedal out any residual tension here. A lot on the shoulders, let go of the weight of the head. And then inhale, right leg up into the sky, way high, bend the knee and stack the hip. Oh, so reaching down into the earth with the hands up to the sky with that knee. Sink that left heel a little more. And then inhale, draw the right knee to the right elbow. Tap. Inhale, send it up into the sky. And then we're gonna draw the knee toward the nose. Stay in down dog though, don't have to shift forward to plank. Bring your right ankle on top of your left knee. There's that figure four again. Root it in the hands. And then begin to bend the left knee. Big stretch. Think about that hip rotation and let the thigh drop back, back, back. Push the chest toward the thighs. And then straighten the leg, keeping the ankle above the knee and then bend once more. Straight and exhaling, bend. Now straight, unwind, right leg up in the sky. Sink the right foot to the ground. Big toes together, knees apart. Find a child's pose. You deserve it. Hands out front in a prayer pose. Take a deep breath in. Side up. We have 15 minutes for about another hour's worth of content. So I promise to behave. One more breath here. <sighs> Reaching forward through your hands, begin to round in the upper back as you draw belly button towards spine, heart towards the spine, and lift up onto the knees. And then turn the toes under and rise up into down dog. Left leg reaches up, up, up. Bend the knees back to hip. 
Right heel roots, hands root. Left knee reaches, reaches, reaches. Exhale, wind left knee to left elbow. Tap. Inhale it straight up. Exhale, wind knee toward nose, staying down dog, and then shift that ankle just above the right knee. Sink the right heel. On your next exhalation, begin to bend the right knee. Press torso back toward thighs, figure four. Feel the stretch. Spread your left toes wide and then inhale, begin to straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. As we come back in a straight, send that left leg way up into the sky. And down to the From here, left. Release the crown of the head toward the earth. Root down into the hands. Let the heels sink. One more breath. And step your feet to the center of the mat. Let your hands fall to the center of the mat. And then turn to face this direction. Release. Inhale, chair. Maybe we'll get all the way there on Thursday. <laughs> and from here, reaching up through the hands, sinking down through the six bones, circle the hands all the way around to the heart. Check in with your intention. Notice if one leg's working harder than the other. See if you can rock your weight just slightly between the feet and notice if you can even that out. It's true in the body all the time. There's always these imbalances. Even in the breath, when we breathe in and out through our nose, one nostril is more dominant than the other. It's a real thing. So just notice if it's there and see if you can help it out by evening it out. Sweep arms down to go up, rise all the way high. Exhale, hands to heart. Ooh, what is the temperature in here? <laughs> Holy guacamole. Rock your feet side to side. Sacred heat, sacred sweat. So on your next inhalation, find the place where you can shift into your left foot, lift your right leg, and then begin to reach for the leg. Bring the right foot into the left hip crease, maybe, maybe not. You can hook the left hand around the front of the foot and gently set your right hand on the thigh. There's no pressing here, it's just gentle. So the knee only has a tiny bit of side to side movement. The hip has a lot more, so make sure you're originating this major the most of this movement from the hip so stand tall root into your standing leg let the thigh drop more more and more maybe 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 not and then if possible begin to bend the left knee slow motion you can keep holding on to the leg but sit back as if you're in chair pose right if you need to slide that foot over a little farther, go, go ahead and do so to uh, clear the ankle bone so it's not super crunchy. Maybe hands come to heart, maybe hands do whatever they need to do to keep your balance. Find your edge here. So you can blame this on Marty. I think he was coming today, Ellen. Uh, he asked about lotus pose the other day, so we're really prepping to move towards a half lotus. <sighs> See if you can get really long from the tail through the crown. Sit down a little deeper, maybe, maybe not. And then rise up and out, just unwind that leg. It can be really helpful here to reach down and pick it up with the ankle and pull the heel into the sits bone. Roll the shoulders back. Maybe, maybe you can lift up if you like, like get real graceful with it and turn it into a dancer pose if you like, but the main gist is just to give that leg some love and then release it down. Deep breath in, arms rise, swan dive. Inhaling chair. Exhaling mountain. Hands at heart, bringing in the sacred. Root into the right foot, lift the left leg. 
gently. Think about how the hip rotates. Turn the knee out slowly, thinking about how that ball and socket joint looks and works. And then reach down for the foot or the knee. Draw the foot up toward the right hip crease. Anywhere lower is perfect. Just listen. And then spend a little time here. Begin to release the left hand from the hold and just let the right hand hold. Let the left hand just gently rest on the thigh. It's not pressing, it's just letting it know where it is in space, a little extra help. Shoulders roll back, right foot roots, crown rises, chin maybe draws in a little bit. Now you know where we're going, so gently begin to bend the standing knee, maybe, maybe not. Coming into your edge, maybe connecting hand to foot and knee. Maybe letting the ankle sink a little lower toward the knee, but remember to sit back into your chair rather than forward over the ankle. Find your edge, ease into your edge. And on your inhalation, come up, unwind. You're into both feet, maybe shake out that right leg a little. Sounds like the really hard feet. Yeah. Take a hold of that left ankle, if possible. Maybe one hand, maybe two. Just give it a squeeze in toward the tail or roll the shoulders back, push the foot into the hand. Get a little graceful, a little surf more curvy. Get the heart forward, the foot back. See how that feels in the body. And then release when you're ready. Sweep the hands down to go up. Exhale out, hold. And as you're ready, let's plant our hands, come down to knees and swap the knees out, bring the big toes together, sit down on the heels if this is possible. If not, any seated posture is perfect. Sitting down for a moment, just giving a calf smash, smash, sit down on the heels if possible. <sighs> Inhale, arms up. Exhale, walk the hands forward. I can't do a lot of folding before I get my hands to the ground in this one. Keep pressing your hips back towards your heels. We're in child's pose, but lengthen through the crown of the head at first, look up between the hands, really get long in the spine, then tuck downward, root into the hands once more, pull the floor back towards you and then push the floor away. Notice how that's like a mini cat cow. Pull the hands back towards you and look forward and then exhale, round the head in, push the floor forward. You get a little bit of roundness in your back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, chin comes towards you. One more time, tiny, tiny cat cow. Getting into the nuances of the spine and then walk the hands back toward the body. And from here, Bring the feet out front. So much more. But I don't want to jick you on Tavasana because that's just wrong. Bring your, just for today, bring your right foot forward, left foot on top, just above right knee. So we're back in that figure four shape. From here, take your left hand and press toward the left knee, just gently. It's not a push, it's just a, it's a kneading forward rather than downward. Push the thigh forward. You can even pull it all the way up toward the hip crease if you like. Just play with that for a moment. When you're ready, we'll inhale, lift up through the arms if possible, and fold. As deep as it feels okay. You wanna to listen to the knee. If anything feels yucky in the knee, skip this. It's talking, I remember the body speaks, so it doesn't feel like it's helping, come out. You can always put this right or this left foot on the inside of the right thigh or the inside of the shin. Now, if you're in the fold, plant both hands on the shin or the thigh, and then right hand to the inside of the right leg, left hand to the outside of the right leg. So hands are clasping in opposing directions. Then the elbow, draw the heart forward, lengthen through the crown.
inhale, walk the hands to the ground and come up. Release this leg carefully. Right foot comes up. Find out where it feels best. Maybe just above the knee. Clear the ankle bone so it's not crunchy. Bring the right hand onto the thigh. Just some gentle presses. Long wide, not downward, but outward. Maybe move the <clears throat> ankle higher, maybe not. Reach up, get long. Heart shifts forward into the fold. Just notice what you need. You need to move the ankle out to the side a little bit more. And then take a hold of the leg with the hands in that opposing force. You know, one on the out, right on the outside of the left, left on the inside. Heart draws forward as elbows move out. Inhale fully. Exhale, belly button towards spine. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, belly button towards spine. Float to the ground, unwind, coming up. Pedal out any tension there. And then bring your feet to face the window wall. Come lying down on your back, heading into Shavasana. Plant your feet on the floor and let your knees drop side to side. <clears throat> Draw the knees into the chest for a big hug. Bigger, maybe draw the chin up toward the knees even. Squeeze, love this whole sacred, sacred body. And then on your next exhalation, release everything. Hands flower open, 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 just like the windows at your crown chakra, the crown of the head, at your third eye at your throat, at your heart, solar plexus, belly, tailbone. Be open, open, open. This idea of finding the sacred in everything. Just for today. Draw in a deep breath through all of these open spaces. See yourself fill with radiance. See your sacred body here now, cleansed by the breath. And with your next inhalation, see relaxation move through the whole body, through all of these spaces. And as you exhale out, it flows out into the world, flows in and out, just like waves in the ocean. As you surrender now, Draw in the sacred breath. 
Sigh it out. Ease one foot to the floor and then the other. Left arm draws up next to your left ear and roll today to your left side. Take another deep, sacred breath in. Appreciating it, noticing it. And then press into that top hand and rise to a comfortable seated position facing this direction. Drop in that word sacred once more and notice what it means to you. What does it bring up in you? And gently exhale your chin towards your chest. Fully your eyes open. Inhale, fully arms and gaze up. Exhale, hands to the side. Namaste. Namaste.